Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell. My name is Matthew Kidman. Today I'm joined by Neil Carter from IFM Investors and Michael Glennon from Glennon Capital. Welcome, gentlemen. We are talking about technology and telecommunications, very sexy area. First talk today is Telecommunications Group M2, which has been a lot of mergers, part of the industry consolidation. Buy, hold or sell, Neil? Um, for me, it's a buy. It's on about 15 times PE, which is pretty good value in the telco sector. I think there's going to be a lot more synergies that come through, and that will drive the earnings, and that's why it's a buy. Buy, hold or sell, Michael? Buy. Same reasons. I think there's a heap of synergies. We held both stocks before the, um, the bid came through. Yep. So I think you'll get synergies from putting the two of those together. I think there's good management in both businesses. Great. Let's go up into the sky. Satellite, speedcast, buy, hold or sell? Uh, I think it's a hold. I think it, it's all priced in. It's a good business, but I think I can't justify the valuation. Very expensive, Neil, but good growth. Buy, hold or sell? Yeah, I think in this market you've got to pay up for growth, and it's on about 20, 22 times. Management have got a lot of skin in the game. There's a lot of bolt-on acquisitions they can do. I think you're going to see earnings upgraded again. For me, it's a buy. Okay, let's go to... Uh, cards, tel uh, telecommunications, mobile cards, um, ATM, buy, hold or sell? Uh, for me it's a buy. Um, again, um, I see this business as one having a strong competitive advantage. It's the lowest cost operator in the business. It's a commodity business. A low cost position is a winning strategy. It's a buy. Competitive area, Michael. Do you like um, ATM or not? Yeah, I like it. It's a buy. I think um, it's got a great distribution model. It's very cheap. It's changed the way um, telecommunications are sold in this industry. I think it's set the benchmark for the bigger companies to try and replicate. Now you like machines and you like software, infomedia, buy, hold or sell? Uh, I think it's the rudderless ship. I think it's a, uh, it's a hold at the moment, but saying that, everything's priced in at the moment, so you're buying it at the bottom. Good software it seems like, but shaky management, shaky board, buy, hold or sell, infomedia. For me it's a sell. It's a good product, but there's no management there. They've had issues with uh, contracts, they lost the Jaguar contract. Um, it's, they've got integration problems, it's 18 times, too risky for my money, sell. Okay, let's go over to property, and this has been the bellwether for the last decade for technology in Australia, yep. REA, buy, hold or sell? Uh, it's been a fantastic company, but for me, uh, it's a sell. Short term, I think it's going up, and I'd be selling into that strength. They've moved from a subscription model to a volume-based model, and that means the earnings stream is more volatile. That means it should actually derate. We're currently in a property slowdown. That's actually, um, strangely, it's good for REA. So I, I, I think it's short term going up, but I'd be selling into that strength. Okay, REA, always been expensive, Michael, but always had terrific growth, dominant position, buy, hold or sell? I think it's a hold. I'm not sure where it goes from here. It's a bit like the, the Telstra bit of real estate. So there's a lot of smaller players coming in now and trying to sort of feed off its carcass. There you go. So things are either a buy or a sell. It's really polarizing the telecommunications and technology space. Thank <laughs> you.